On behalf of the president, faculty, staff, and graduates, welcome to the California State University Bakersfield Graduate Hooding and Commencement Ceremony for the Schools of Arts and Humanities, Business and Public Administration, Natural Sciences, Mathematics and Engineering, and Social Sciences and Education. Please be seated. For the safety of all our guests, please do not block the walkways. Please silence all cell phones and electronic devices. We ask that you refrain from using noisemakers of any kind 
so all our graduates will be appropriately recognized and all of you, our guests, will have a positive memories of this graduation. At the end of the ceremony, please remain in your seats and allow the graduates to exit. You may meet your graduate outside the Icardo Center at the reception on the South Lawn. Thank you. In the name of the President, the Facultad, personal y graduados, les damos la bienvenida a la ceremonia de graduación de la Universidad Estatal de California Bakersfield de las Escuelas de Artes y Humanidades, Negocios de Administración Pública, Ciencias Naturales, Matemáticas e Ingeniería y Ciencias Sociales y Educación. Por favor, tomen sus asientos. Realizadores, actualmente reconocidos. Y todos ustedes, nuestros invitados, tengan buenos recuerdos de esta graduación. La Asociación de Alumni ha contratado a un fotógrafo profesional para su conveniencia. Al final de la ceremonia, por favor permanezcan en sus asientos y permitan que los graduados salgan del edificio. Podrán encontrarse con su postgraduado fuera de la ICADRO Center. Gracias por su atención y disfruten de la ceremonia.
ladies and gentlemen, for those who are able, please stand for the presentation of the colors by the California Highway Patrol Color Guard and remain standing for the national anthem, which will be sung for us by Madeline Heiss. Madeline is a sophomore majoring in music education. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets Thank you. You may be seated. I'd like to thank the color guard that was actually a combination of CSUB police and the Kern High School District color guard. Thank you, Faculty Marshal Dr. Paul Newberry, and good evening, and we welcome you to the California State University Bakersfield Commencement Ceremonies. I am Jenny Zorn, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. We've just begun our ceremony with the National Anthem in honor of our great country, and now we want to recognize our students who have served as veterans and served our nation. Last week, these student veterans were presented with red, white, and blue cords, which they wear over their gowns tonight. 43 veterans will receive their degrees during our spring commencements. including six tonight. Would those student veterans please stand? We thank you for your service to our country and congratulate you on your educational accomplishments. 
We thank you for the sacrifices you and your families have made in defending our freedom and for your incredible bravery in protecting our great nation. And now would all veterans who are present here today please stand. And now Faculty Marshal Dr. Deborah Boschini will read a graduation blessing which was adapted from a poem by Joanna Fuchs. We the faculty, staff, and administration wish for blessings on these graduates as they go into the world and make it a better place and pursue their dreams. We hope that they will be guided to success and happiness through service to others as they maximize their own potential. May they be filled with joy when they reach their goals and may they find strength as they deal with life's obstacles and learn that every challenge is a path to character development. May they be granted intelligence in planning their futures and may they be endowed with patience and persistence to pursue their ambitions. Most of all, we wish for them to have caring hearts to look for ways to help people they meet on their life's journey. Now may they be encouraged and lifted up as they spread their wings into the clear sky of limitless opportunity. Let each and every graduate here be wrapped in the warmth of infinite love and may wisdom show them the way to make the most of their lives. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Boschini. Let us now join in a moment of silence to reflect on and give thanks for all the commitment, sacrifice, perseverance, and hard work that have made this evening possible for the graduates that we honor today. A moment of silence. Thank you. On the behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration, we welcome families, friends, and graduates to this celebration of your academic success at this 2018 graduation hooding and commencement ceremony at California State University, Bakersfield. The processional was led by Dr. Paul Newberry, professor of philosophy, who was selected by his colleagues as this year's recipient of the Faculty Leadership and Service Award. And Dr. Deborah Buschini, professor and chair of the Department of Nursing and chair of the CSUB Academic Senate. In leading us here, they carried with them these two maces. These are symbols of our pursuit of knowledge and truth. Also, please join me in thanking our color guard and the runner brass for providing the wonderful music this evening and Madeline Heiss for her meaningful and moving performance of the national anthem. With me on the platform are special friends of the university, members of the faculty, and the university administration who also helped make your success possible. You'll meet some of them throughout the ceremony, but for now, I will acknowledge those who are seated on the platform but do not have speaking roles today. Please stand when I call your name, and we ask that you hold your applause until all have been introduced. This is your first test to see if you can follow this. Hold your applause till the end. Dr. Thomas Wallace, Vice President for Student Affairs. Tom Davis, Vice President for Business and Administrative Services and Chief Financial Officer. Victor Martin, Vice President for University Advancement. Dr. Evelyn Young Spath, Chief of Staff to the President. Claudia Katoda, JD, Assistant to the President for Equity, Inclusion and Compliance. 
Dr. David Schechter, Vice Provost and Associate Vice President for Faculty Affairs. Dr. Vernon Harper, Associate Vice President for Academic Programs. Dr. Ime Evong, Associate Vice President for Grants, Research, and Sponsored Programs. Dr. Jacqueline Mims, Associate Vice President for Enrollment Management. Dr. James Dernick, Associate Vice President for Student Affairs. Dr. Vonda Nicoli, Associate Dean, Undergraduate and Graduate Programs. Mariella Gomez, your ASI President, who's written a letter to the graduates in the program. And Carla Veronitos, CSUB Alumni Association President, who has also written a congratulatory, congratulatory message to the graduates in the program. Thank you. And now I would like all, everyone in the crowd who is a CSUB alumni to please stand. You're going to have a few hundred more after tonight in that alumni crowd. It's my distinct pleasure to introduce the alumni trustee for the whole California State University system, an alum of CSUB, John Nylon. Good evening, everyone. What an exciting evening and what a pleasure it is to be here. And I want to say hello to my esteemed fellow alumni. You are now charged, along with your distinguished peers, to create a better California, both in your careers and public service. But as alumni, our reach extends far beyond our state. We are truly a force for good in the world. And I sat out there as you sit out there tonight. A few years ago, it was 1988. There were still dinosaurs flying around. But um, I sat out there because I knew that I could graduate with a master's degree and it would lead to a better life and it will lead you all to a better life and an opportunity to be consequential in everything that you do. Bakersfield is, as you know, is my alma mater. It's my wife's alma mater. My children are Cal State graduates. We just love the system. And as you transition into your next phase of life, I encourage you to stay in in touch with your university. Share your accomplishment with your accomplishments with your faculty. They love you, by the way. And as you graduate, you don't have to call them doctor anymore. You can call them by their first name. It's really an interesting thing. Find ways to give back, right, to make sense to you. Give of your financial success or your time to encourage and infuse and engage this university system to be the very best that it can be. So with that, it is my privilege and honor on behalf of all of the California State University Board of Trustees to offer my sincerest congratulations to each and every one of you. Thank you. And now it's my great honor and privilege to introduce the fourth president of California State University, Dr. Horace Mitchell. Thank you, Provost Zorn, and good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. All right, thank you, thank you. It has been my privilege and honor to serve our community as president of CSU Bakersfield over the past 14 years. To members of the CSUB Foundation Board and the President's Community Advisory Council, to alumni and supporters of the university, to the families and friends of our graduates, and to, get this, fellow members of the class of 2018, 2018, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, I declare the 2018 graduate hooding and commencement ceremony open for the schools of arts and humanities, business and public administration, 
natural sciences, mathematics and engineering, and social sciences and education. I, I join Provost Zorn in extending to each of you a personal welcome, as well as a welcome on behalf of the distinguished faculty, staff, and administration of the university. In addition, as you heard earlier, we are honored to have a CSUD alumnus who is also a member of the CSU Board of Trustees with us, and that's Mr. John Nyland. Thank you, John. Welcome. <laughs> Students, we are extremely proud of you, our soon-to-be newest graduates and alumni whom we honor this evening. This is a wonderful and extremely busy time of year at the university as we gather to congratulate and celebrate you on the achievement of this academic success. The class of 2018 is our largest graduating class ever, almost 2,500 students. To everyone again, welcome and let the commencement begin for the class of 2018. <laughs> Graduates, as you reflect on your achievements and think about your vision for the future, I want to share a message with you before we get to the part of the ceremony in which you are most interested, namely the conferring of degrees. Studies have shown that graduates rarely remember who the speaker was for their commencement, and they're even less likely to remember what the speaker said. So, I will be very brief. Each fall semester, as new freshmen and transfer students enroll at CSUB, we hold a new student convocation, as many colleges and universities do. I always share a message with them with the general theme, you and CSUB, a partnership for your success. I tell them that by becoming a student at CSUB, we are committed to providing them with outstanding faculty, such as those who are seated in the front rows, excellent academic programs and support services, and co-curricular experiences all of which are transformative. I also tell them that their obligation in our partnership is to give their best effort at all times. I say to them, your university experience will change your life. You will gain new academic knowledge, abilities, and skills, and expand your intellectual understanding of the multiple worldviews and lived experiences that intersect in our global society. You will better understand the basis on which other people have developed different values, even as you refine your own. You will be in a better position to take advantage of future opportunities, to improve your family's quality of life, and to contribute to your community. That's what I say, that's what I say to the new students coming in. As graduates and candidates for graduation with master's degrees, you have gone well beyond those important transformative undergraduate experiences, which have in fact prepared you to continue your education to the master's level. As a class, when you enrolled at CSUB in your master's programs, you had various goals you wanted to achieve. Some of you wanted to gain more knowledge and skills so you could become the very best in your current position. Many of you had a goal of moving up the ladder in your cur current organization, while some of you plan to prepare for new opportunities in different organizations. Still others wanted to retool to move in a different direction from your current career or position. For example, Many individuals who have spent their careers in corporate America worrying about bottom line profits decide that they want to give back and do something more personally rewarding, such as hands-on engagement in education and community service. As part of your master's program student, 
you achieved, among other things, four university learning outcomes for graduate students, which were adopted by our Academic Senate. The first is, you've demonstrated specialized knowledge in your field of study. Secondly, you've demonstrated broad, integrative knowledge. Third, you've demonstrated intellectual skills such as analytic inquiry, use of information resources, engaging diverse perspectives, quantitative fluency, and communication fluency. And fourth, you demonstrated your ability to create and conduct applied learning initiatives. For most of you, your goals included using your education to advance both personal and professional goals, while also wanting to make a difference in some sector of our society. For decades in the United States, there were debates about whether higher education, especially beyond the bachelor's degree, is a private good, that is, it solely, solely benefits the person who gets the education, or a public good, where the state or larger society benefits as well. That is not simply an academic question. The answer has implications for who should pay the cost of public education, or at least who should pay the larger share, the individual or the state. California actually answered that question with the passage of Senate Bill 33, the legislation that created the master plan for higher education in California in 1960, known as the Donahoe Higher Education Act. How many of you are familiar with the name Dorothy Donahoe? All right. Dorothy Donahoe, for whom the legislation was named, was an assembly member from Bakersfield who got it, the legislation through the assembly, and unfortunately she passed just before the legislation was finalized, but in her honor, they named the legislation the Donahoe Higher, Edu the Donahoe Higher Education Act. And of course, you might recognize the name Dorothy Donahoe Hall, or DDH, here on our own campus, which is named for Dorothy Donahoe. The master plan created the California State University system by putting then existing separate state colleges into a single system. It also specified the roles of the CSU, the, California, the University of California, and the California Community Colleges. The fundamental, the fundamental premise of the master plan was that higher education is a public good. Therefore, there was a promise or social contract that a low-cost higher education would be available for every Californian prepared to pursue it. For decades, the legislature provided the funding necessary for the promise of the master plan to become a reality. That historic commitment, as most of you know, has not been sustained over the last several decades. A recent study entitled California's Economic Payoff, Invis Investing in College Access and Completion, was conducted by the Institute of Societal Issues at UC Berkeley and jointly released by the Campaign for College Opportunity, the California Civil Rights Coalition, and the California Chamber of Commerce. It offered these conclusions. First, quote, this study concludes that, that the benefits of higher education extend well beyond the direct payoff for students and include substantial gains to the state. California's higher education investment pays off for all of California. Secondly, quote, this report concludes that the investment in education is critical to the ultimate success of California. These same, the same, these same conclusions were echoed in a recent, that is, 2017 study by the Public Policy Institute of California, PPIC, which said, the biggest challenge to California's future is that the state's economy is increasingly requiring skilled and well-educated workforce and that by 2030, California will require one million additional highly skilled college graduates to meet the demands of the economy. 
They also say that an investment in the CSU is an investment in California. So in addition to your academic and intellectual growth, you developed or sharpened other skills during your master's program. For example, you learn to be more resilient, that is, to encounter a setback, overcome it, and emerge even stronger in that area. Secondly, you learn to use improvisation, as the old folks used to say, to make a way out of no way, using critical reasoning and problem-solving skills. Third, you learn to keep the faith I want to make sure it was third. You, want, you, you learn to keep the faith, that is, you sustain your commitment to the completion of your master's degree while life was happening all around you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dr. Forrest Shakley said, the best way to predict the future is to create it. You are now well prepared to create your desired future. Be assured that we need you wherever you choose to make your contributions, in business or public administration, in teaching and educational administration, in the arts and humanities, in the social sciences, in the natural sciences, mathematics and engineering, or in other areas such as nursing and health care. We need some of you to become the next generation of college and university faculty members, staff, and administration. In fact, students, some of you should consider preparing to become part of the next generation of college and university presidents and chancellors. According to a recent report by the American Council on Education, the average age of more than, of the more than 3,300 presidents and chancellors is 61, and 58% are age 61 or over, suggesting that a high percentage are likely to retire within the coming days. Sorry, years. I am retiring within the coming days. <laughs> Students, you are well on your way to creating your desired future. Now use your CSUB master's degree education, your intellect and energy to develop strategies that will advance realization of your vision. We are very proud of each of you. We congratulate you and celebrate you on the achievement of this important milestone in your educational career and life journeys. In a few minutes, it will be my great pleasure to confer your degrees. Congratulations, graduates. President Mitchell, tomorrow, when you award the very last degree, it will be the 25,316th degree that you have awarded in your 14 years. Think about that. Your leadership has altered the life paths of more than 25,000 individuals. Think about that ripple effect. Your leadership has changed the lives of more than 25,000 families. Think about that. The magnitude of that impact on the communities and workforces in those communities of those 25,000 workers and citizens. Think about the 70% of those 25,000 graduates who have remained here in San Joaquin Valley. Your leadership changed their lives, the lives of their families, and the communities of the San Joaquin Valley. Well, we don't have to think about it. We know your leadership has lifted the valley for generations to come. Now 
I'd like to introduce our impressive faculty. They're seated here in the front rows. These are some of the faculty who have provided our students with academic expertise and guidance. Please join me in thanking them for their dedication and accomplishments. Will the faculty please stand? Thank you. We're pleased to have Mrs. Irma Cervantes Lancaster, an Emmy Award winning journalist and the public affairs manager for Bakersfield City School District and a proud CSUB alum to read the names of our candidates. And now we've come to the moment you've been waiting for, the awarding of the degrees. Dr. Steve Bacon, Dean of the School of Social Sciences and Education, will now come forward to introduce the doctoral candidates. Thank you. Here we go. We will now recognize the doctoral candidates from our cooperative doctoral degree program in educational leadership with California State University, Fresno. While they'll be hooded during the commencement ceremony at CSU Fresno on May 18th, tonight we'll perform an honorary hooding to acknowledge their completion of the co cooperative doctoral degree program. Will the candidates for the cooperative doctoral degree in educational leadership please come forward to be hooded? Awarding the hoods are Drs. Janet Falks, Jacqueline Mims, Randy Schultz, John Stark, Amanda Taggart, and JJ Wang. Jamie Pachelle. <laughs> Maria Wright. <laughs> Dr. Melissa Jean O'Neill. Alicia Iniguez. <laughs> Angelina Japolanka Dickey. Robin Gail Scheib. Jonathan Brian Gage. Julie Ann Graves. Angeline Diana Summers. And now Dean Robert Frank Frakes 
will now come forward to introduce the School of Arts and Humanities candidates for the master's degrees. Will the candidates for the degree of Master of Arts in the School of Arts and Humanities please come forward to be hooded. Awarding the hoods are Drs. Steve Allen, Robert Carlisle, Stephen Fry, Christina Howell, Dustin Knepp, Charles McQuarrie, Marie Stango, and Miriam Vivian. Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty of the school, I am pleased to present the candidates for the degree of Master of Arts in English, History, Interdisciplinary Studies, and Spanish. Lucas Charles Anderson. Christy Ann Millison. They were from the Department of English. Elias Medina. <laughs> Leo Rebecca Avila. Thank you. Omar Gonzalez. Marcus Boriago Hackler. Those were the candidates in history. Now we have interdisciplinary studies. Stephen Michael Tedek. Brooke Whitehead. And, and from the Department of Spanish. Nancy Cruz Mora. Estrella Amaro Jeppesen. Congratulations. Miriam Ayon. And now I introduce Dean Angaba Gunzakaran will now come forward to introduce the School of Business and Public Administration candidates for the master's degree. Thank you, Provost. Will the candidates for the degree of Master of Business Administration, Master of Science in Healthcare Administration, and Master of Public Administration in the School of Business and the Public Administration please come forward to be hooded? Awarding the hoods are Doctors or Steve Daniels, Thomas uh, Martinez, B.J. Moore, John Stark, Michael Way, and Dan Joe. Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty of the School of Business and Public Administration, I am pleased to present the candidates for the degree of Master of Business Administration.
Leanne Michelle McCracken. Ronnie R. McCracken. Julie Nord. Alexander Huff. Tisha Eileen Lorette. Marco Horvath. Sarah Sabrani. Salvador Magdaleno. Nelly Wanji. Ryan Thomas Wingate. Lexis Christine Hansen. Sarah Stewart Little. Claudia Gomez. Brandon Scott Davis. Michael Anthony Bredmont. Ty Rom. The next one is Master of Public Administration. Joseph Morales. Margaret Adams. Senue Yolanda Smith. Dominique Allen. Abel Morelos. Giselle Romo. Delia Arredondo. Luz Roldan. Gagandeep Babar. Frances Nunez Luna. Consuelo Gonzalez Mosqueda.
Sandra Elizabeth Carrillo. Lindsay Nicole Long. Sandeep Singh Molly. Team BCSD resource officer right there. Woo -woo. Samantha Janice Duran. Susana Madeline Tamayo. Audrey Armstrong Johnson. Laura Jimenez. Now it is time for the Master of Science in Healthcare Administration. We have a few more yet to do. Okay. We have a few more yeah, public we'll admin and then more. <laughs> Tamar Anthony. Kimber Lee Wellman. Okay, so now I have to repeat again. Jason Gumbabo. Brandy Mesa. Now it is time for the Master of Science in Healthcare Administration. We'll get it. We'll get it. <laughs> Lewis Peterson. Louisa Martins. Yep, we got it. Gabriela I. Castro. Karina Tapia Morga. Kim Tu T. Tran. Araceli Macias. Alicia A. Ramirez. Alyssa Brianne Duffy. Jordan Lee. <laughs> Jessica Fossey Monty. Jonathan Wesley Glover. Aisha Rahimi. Shinedu Wagu. Mike Abbas. And Dean Kathleen Madden, please come forward to introduce the School of Natural Sciences, Mathematics, and Engineering. 
Will the candidates for the degree of Master of Science in the School of Natural Sciences, Mathematics, and Engineering please come forward to be hooded. Awarding the hoods will be Drs. David Germano, Adam Guo, Heidi He, Annie Hewn, Anna Jacobson, Chris Krug, Brandon Pratt, Lorelei Punsalan, Tony Rathburn, and Maria Rubellino. Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty of the school, I am pleased to present the candidates for the degree of Master of Science in Biology. Erica Crystal Kelly. Mitchell Lewis Coleman. <laughs> Laura Selene Castro. Aaron William Baumgartner. Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty of the school, I'm pleased to present the candidates for the degree of Masters of Science in Geological Sciences. Jeffrey Daniel Kimber. Mary Ann Bobbitt. Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty of the school, I'm pleased to present the candidates for the degree of Masters of Science in Nursing. Edgar Quines Nobleza. Eunice Paula Dayanghirang Harsak. Prabjit Singh Teja. Micaela Christine Valdovinos. Skyler Howe. Rachel Michelle Hayes. Kristen Elise Lidget. Elizabeth Marie White. Mijin Do. Mary Ann Cruz. Jennifer Celestino Tamayo.
Tania E. Sedano. Peggy Luge. Rogene Esmail. Gabriel Garcia Barajas. And now Dean Dr. Steve Bacon will now come forward to introduce the School of Social Sciences and Education. <laughs> Will the candidates for the degree of Master of Arts and Master of Science in the School of Social Sciences and Education please come forward to be hooded. Awarding the hoods are Drs. Brittany Beck, Michael Cosimano, Hager El Hadidi, Jesus Esquibal, Karen Haas, Sh Sherilyn Hayworth Price, Alice Hayes, Patricia Henry, Ji Wan Huang, Christina Legu. Anaya Lee, Callie Lewis Chu, David Marks, and Yvonne Ortiz Bush. Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty of the school, I'm pleased to present the candidates for the Master of Science in Counseling Psychology. Cody Whitson. Erica Marie Rico. Adri Arroyo. Pinkal Shaw. <laughs> Janelle Kate Johnson. Holly Leanne Gomez. Robin Heron. Jacqueline Lauren Frias Gonzalez. Jordan Yarbrough. Sarah Rochelle Medzik. Tracy Diane Van Etten. Paige Michelle Gelmini. Miguel Rios. Jessica Pantoja. Randasha McQuiller. April Lynn King. Natalie Maragoni. Yes, go, go. Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty of the school, I'm pleased to present the candidates for the Master of Science 
in educational counseling with a school counseling concentration. Mayra Gabriela Tenorio Parra. Spencer Shoemaker. Maria Zamaripa. Christina Valdez. Claudia Cuevas. Iris Zuniga Moreno. Luz Maria Ramirez. Carolina Zavala. Vanessa Perez Torres. Elizabeth Alanis Ibarra. Janai Molina. Beatriz Andrea Arias Aguilera. Lorena Resendez. Erika Reyes. Jolene Marie Macias. Maricela Quiros Plasencia. Bethany L. Fleischer. Jake Williams. Elizabeth Soto. Alejandra Herrera. Yep, it's the girl show. Kimberly Ann Gill. Ashley Gonzalez. Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty of the school, I'm pleased to present the candidates for the degree of Master of Science in Counseling with a Student Affairs Concentration. Paulina Sylvester. Jill Leanne Lackey. David Allen Alvarez. Savannah Nadine Andrews. Cristina Dolores Ramirez. Ivan 
Gerardo Rojo. Don Oxford. Veronica Vega. Giselle Silva Cornejo. Glenda Guizar Mahano. Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty of the school, I'm pleased to present the candidates for the Master of Arts in Curriculum and Instruction. Tammy Roberts. Brittany Elaine George. Mayra Alejandra Barrera. Danielle Marie Anand. Monica Jasmine Placencia. Mary Ann Garcia. Fatima Masri. Shelby Ann Gutierrez. Melissa Ann Anderson. Danielle Lopez. Joseph Kuntz. Alba Luz Borelli. Aveline Cueto. Katrina Brianne Navejas. Amy Maria Galvan. Mayra Munoz. Amanda Pounds. Rosa Isela Marquez. Diana Camacho. Vivian Ochoa. Lauren Jessica LaRoque. Ashley Rebecca Zaragoza. Cassandra Warwick. Kendra C. Duncan. Jessica L. Long.
Shannon Carol Johnson. Elizabeth J. Bartlett. Philippa Jane Holmes. Kristen Marie Pua. Kristen Nicole Gaeta. Natalia Alejandra Medina Ornelas. Crystal Naranjo. Leobardo Serna Sanchez. Magda, Magda Elena Juarez Martin. Marina Gonzalez. Camille Collette Fulton. Veronica Leanne Martinez. Elias Fiadoyo. Catherine Michelle Salas. Tara Lee Starr. Sia Kaku Dawes. Elizabeth Leos Casper. Adriana Landeros. Connie Bolton. <laughs> Carolyn Kendall. Laramie Ward. Gabriela Brummett. Rebecca Joy Price. Cindy Marroquin. Krista Lamb. Brittany Allen. Molly Francis Tobias. Candace Renee Neal. Tiffany Bree Funkhauser.
Kelsey Daniel Moreland. Krista Marie Kirby Dempsey. Clara Montserrat Orozco. Eleni Murillo. Marimar Salazar. Rebecca Gray. Crystal Marie Watson. Jessica Christina Owen. Alicia Nicole Wild. Jasmine Joliana Olvera. Crystal Zuniga. Isabel Muriel Mireles. Neidit Perez Montejano. Jacqueline Gutierrez. Shelby Lynn Ramirez. Karen Merlos. Shara Mabanta Quintero. Lori Ann Gass. Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty of the school, I'm pleased to present the candidates for the Master of Arts in Educational Administration. Stephanie Haycock. Dustin Haycock. Angela Rochelle Thurley. Megan Gregg. Jamie Lee Farley. Mary Jane Taylor. Lola Dolores James. Leticia Casares. Monica Maria Daniel. Jennifer Aguilar Beltran. Taisha Denise Alvarado. Ruben Philip Gaeta Ramirez. Here comes trouble. Wow. 
Okay, hashtag Team BSCSD in the house. Give it up for Andy Anthony Richardson. Benjamin Bush. Hey, girl. Montreal Patrice Henry. Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty of the school, I'm pleased to present the candidates for the degree of Master of Arts in Special Education. Angelica Paredes. Alejandra Garza. Jennifer Papasurgia. Julia Nicole Scott. Katie Matley. Velda Kirk. Amanda Marie Marshall. Casey Petit McWhorter. Sam Tamandong. Emily Malin. Kayla Miller. Tara Jean Lafayette. Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty of the school, I'm pleased to present the candidates for the degree of Master of Social Work. They came. Do you think, I don't think they're here. Diane Essery. Maya Malixi. Max Higa. Elizabeth Musgrove. Judy Kim. Itzel Velis. Jessica Noemi Herrera. Marina R. Hernandez. Erika Lopez. Jennifer Barbosa. Irma Jesus Mejia.
Marlene Nelson. Ariani Cespedes. Sandy Elizabeth Melendez. Talia Martinez. Erika Verdugo. Leslie Gonzalez. Rebecca Romero Leon. Carlos Quintanilla. Monveer Carr Binning. Cristina Galicia Manriquez. Milagros Diana Casas. Lorena Moreno. Lourdes Torres Guerra. Caitlin Cochran. Liliana Celeste Avila. Mayra C. Leon Fogg. Tara Dellis. Amy Lynn Bradshaw. Ashley Maria Phillip. Rowena Huen. Elvira, Magaga Elvira Magallanes Vasquez. Yesenia Robles Nunez. Charday Renika Diamond McPherson. Peyton Marie Struey. Andrea Megan Derrick. Salomon Tinoco. Latana Nuobu. Roberto Vargas Alvarez Jr. Anthony Michael Gracian. Christopher A. Boyd. Anthony Paul Harris.
Tiffany Marie Ernest. Julius Teruji Gallus. Kitty Vo. Jennifer Sweet Farnes. Isabel Ada Gonzalez. Morena Guadalupe Melara. Manuela Romelia Guerra Estrada. Gladys Fabi Vargas Guzman. Griselda Janet Soto. Elizabeth Gallardo. Maria G. Gomez. Kendall Bartby Wood. Michelle Amy Hall. Juan Perez. Amanda H. Vanderpool. <laughs> Judith Ayala. Ana Patricia Duarte. Yolanda Alvarado. Ingrid Diana Franco. Brenda G. Barba Navarro. Sarah Elizabeth Holgin. Jason T. B. Thomas. Shawana Oberdeck. Stephen Hecker. Christopher Lopez Jr. Lauren Dean. <laughs> Leslie A. Monty. Marie Ono. Jamie Lynn Banks. Barbara Vandick. Go. 
good. And now Dean Dr. Mark Novak will now come forward to introduce the candidates for the Masters of Science in Administration from Extended Education and Global Outreach. Will the candidates for the degree of Master of Science in Administration from Extended Education and Global Outreach please come forward to be hooded. Mr. President, on behalf of our division, I am pleased to present the candidates for the degree of Master of Science in Administration. Dr. Randall Schultz will be assisting me with the hooding this evening. He is the Dean of the Antelope Valley Campus. <laughs> Jacob Atkinson. Chris R. Salyards. <laughs> Ashley Levy Wong. <laughs> At Zimba Hernandez. Lori Munoz. Cheryl Scott. <laughs> Scott Michael Winslow. Macy Dorami. <laughs> Caroline Thomason. <laughs> Amanda Lauren Barnes. Will the faculty, deans and associate deans, please stand. Mr. President, on behalf of the deans and the faculty, I present to you the graduate class of 2018. I invite you to come forward and officially confer on these most deserving students. The degrees recommended by the faculty with all the rights and privileges thereto pertaining. Thank you again, Dr. Zorin. As president of the university, I enjoy welcoming new and returning students as they begin or continue what is most often a transformational intellectual and personal journey at CSUV. My greatest joy, which is shared by our faculty, staff, and administration, is to see our students succeed and earn their degrees. It is now time to confer degrees on the class of 2018. Students, our outstanding faculty have served not only as your instructors and research supervisors, they've also served as role models, mentors, and sponsors as you plan the next phase of your career. 
our dedicated staff have also played important roles in supporting you. You have met and most often exceeded the faculty's high standards and expectations. This would be a good time to acknowledge all of them, faculty and staff, for their contributions to your success. Will the graduates and candidates for master's degrees from the School of Arts and Humanities please rise and remain standing? Arts and Humanities. All right. Will the graduates and candidates for master's degrees from the School of Business and Public Administration please rise and remain standing? Will the graduates and candidates for master's degrees from the School of Natural Sciences, Mathematics, and Engineering please rise and remain standing? Will the graduates and candidates for master's degrees from the School of Social Sciences and Education please rise and remain standing? You have demonstrated your intellect and perseverance in your pursuit of knowledge, thus extending your intellectual horizons and expanding your future possibilities. We honor you for that. On the recommendation of the distinguished faculty of the schools of arts and humanities, business and public administration, natural sciences, mathematics and engineering, and social sciences and education and the Department of Extended Studies and Global Outreach and on the recommendation of the Academic Senate of CSUB, now on the authority of the Board of Trustees of the California State University being represented this evening by Trustee John Nyland, I confer on those completing the requirements for graduation the appropriate degree, master's degree, for which you were presented with all the rights, privilege, and responsibilities thereto pertaining. Congratulations, graduates. <laughs> graduates, as you remain standing on the authority I assume as a parent, grandparent, and now a great-grandparent, I ask you to turn to the audience and express with a standing ovation your appreciation to your families and friends who have supported you and join you for this celebration of your academic success. We encourage you to make a commitment to lifelong learning and global understanding and to participate in the university's activities through the CSUB Alumni Association along with our more than 50,000 alumni. We look forward to the collective and cumulative contributions you will make through your professional achievements, civic engagement, and leadership in our global society. I would expect that in the years ahead, many of you will be considered as candidates for induction into the CSU Bakersfield Alumni Hall of Fame. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and administration, Chancellor Timothy White and the Board of Trustees, I extend to each of you our heartiest congratulations and best wishes for the future. And remember, CSUB will always be your university. Congratulations to the class of 2018, runners up. 
All right. Congratulations. You may be seated. You're going to be back up again in a couple of minutes. <laughs> Today, as the university's newest alumni, we also want to recognize your journey with a symbol of CSUB's lifelong commitment to each of you. On your chair, you received a lapel pin. You should display it proudly and wear that pin as a symbol of your accomplishments as a scholar. And now, I would like for everyone to stand and we will sing our alma mater, Long Live CSUB by H. William Ingram. It is found on the back of your program. And runners up. Again, graduates, best wishes to you from your CSUB family. Join the graduates at the reception on the South Lawn outside the Accardo Center where you can take photos with faculty and staff at, as we celebrate with you. But I ask the audience to remain in their seats until the platform party faculty and graduates have left the center. Faculty, graduates, and platform party, prepare for the recessionals. Faculty marshals, please lead the recessional. Congratulations.